Now, simple things that can be done with common sense is so uncommon. Now, this never happened yesterday. This never happened yesterday. Have you ever heard of a person called Confucius? Confucius, yeah, philosopher coming from China. He said a very interesting thing 2,600 years ago. He said that the existence of the world to a greater extent will depend on the application of common sense. However, right throughout the existence of the world, using common sense will be the most uncommon thing to be taught. <laughs> existence of the world to a greater extent will depend on the application of common sense. However, right throughout the existence of the world, common sense will be the most uncommon thing to be found. And this was said 2,600 years ago. That's why people like us have business in this country. What do we do? <laughs> Service attributes, we are talking about what? It is all common sense. It's so uncommon. So therefore, we have enough work. So if I'm sure if Confucius is living today, he would have added yet another sentence to this. And he would have said, the existence of the world to a great extent will depend on the application of common sense. However, right throughout the existence of the world, using common sense will be the most uncommon thing to be found. As a result, people like Damika Kalapagi will continue to have work. Thanks. <laughs> because all what we do here is we are talking common sense. Friends, do we have service in our organization? Of course, yes. What is the problem then? We do have service. We do have service cultures in our organization. What is the problem? If you say that we don't have service in this country, no, it's rubbish, no. We do have, but what is the problem? We have a serious problem is what? Maintaining consistency. Now, in setting up a culture, everybody in the organization, can I remember? Consistently must create that unique experience. That was the definition. So every one of us to play a role. Every one of us to do something. So the whole problem is not that we don't have service cultures in our organizations. We do have, but it is not there all the time. Now, this is the biggest problem. Certain organizations, one particular department, they have a great service culture. Another department, they don't. Sometimes what happens? In the same department, one counter, it is there. The other counter, it is not there. Sometimes what happens? In the same department or the same branch of an organization, when one person is there, the service is fantastic. When another person is there, it's a kind of a horrible experience. Sometimes what happens? <laughs> With the same person at the same counter, one moment, service is outstanding, and the next moment is terrible. Haven't you ever experienced this? <laughs> the whole issue is consistency. Now, let me share a story. I had been mentioning this story for the last about one and a half decades. With regard to consistency, I cannot get rid of this story. <laughs> Friends, year 2003, 14th of February, I went to a bank to deposit money. What's the date? Year 2003, 14th of February. Come on. Valentine's Day, okay, remember. <laughs> I went to a bank to deposit money. Why man who is in this age, my interest now in Valentine's Day too is to what? Deposit money to earn interest. And that is my sole interest. Eat away ice and cake, roses, chocolates, but here I don't do roses. No, no, no. <laughs> so I was in this bank to deposit money. You believe me. I was standing in the queue. The customer who was in front of me approached the counter. You must see the service which has been rendered by that counter there. This customer said, hi, sir. Good morning to you. And then what happened? She took the money. And while counting the money, she's smiling along with the money too. Then what happened? She put the money to the cash machine and she's smiling with the cash machine too. And then she put it into the drawer, kept the slip aside, and now she's entering the information to the system. While entering the information to the system, she's smiling with the system also. So today is the payment due date, sir. You are just making the payment on time, sir. Since it's a cash payment, sir, within the next half an hour, you will get the credit, sir. Then she took the slip, put it to the printer. She was smiling with the printer, too. Took the slip again back. Here is your slip, sir. Thank you very much for doing the transaction, sir. Have a nice day. Goodbye. How about the service? Come on. Little interaction, 30 seconds. How about the service? <sighs> Excellent. Wow, I was watching this, and I love to see this because it's a subject matter I keep on talking day and night, in and out, all the time. So what is the first feeling I got? <laughs> Obviously, she may have participated in a training program of mine. That's why she's giving that kind of a service. 
So the next person who was approaching the counter was me. Now, having seen the pre previous service encounter, I'm walking up to the counter to get even a better service than the service what he rendered to the previous customer. So while I was approaching the counter, I got a bit excited, <laughs> having seen the previous service encounter. So what did I do now? <laughs> even before she could greet me, I greeted her. I said, good morning, Tony. She said, hi, sir, good morning to you. When she was about to take the money off my hand, her phone sounded. She said, sir, would you excuse me for a second? I said, sure, go ahead. She answered the phone. Hello. Hi, darling, it's Mr. Joe. Happy Valentine's Day to you. I was waiting for the call. And I tried to get through to you, but even your mobile was switched off for second call. No, it's okay. Then, then you're coming, no, in the evening. What time you want me to come? Where? Yeah, soon, soon, when I'm busy at the counter, quickly. What? Say that again? A meeting? But you knew that you had an appointment with me. No, no, I'll tell you, you have to take a call, nah? either your boss or me, okay? No, 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 I'm not here to listen to excuses, okay, because I'm very busy at the counter. No, 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 no. But I'll tell you, don't call me again and don't come me to see you again, okay? Right, okay, you heard it? She dashed the phone. And she looked at me and asked me, what do you want? I said, nothing, 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 money deposit. Friends, couple of seconds ago, she gave a world-class outstanding service to the previous customer. In between a call came, she got into a different frame of mind, and now she's trying to take the revenge from me. Now you tell me, dear friends, what can I do for that call? Innocent customer who went to deposit money on the Valentine Day. <laughs> but when I was sharing this experience with my friends those days, they said to me, come on, Damika, you are a fool, Damika, you are a fool. I said, what? No, Damika, you go all over and then speak about marketing. I said, yes. So the basic learning in marketing is maximization of opportunities. So, so didn't you feel, Damika, you had a great opportunity there? I asked, what? No, there was nobody to look after in that evening. No, you should have taken care of her. How can I do that now? I'm married and happily settled down, isn't it? But haven't you all ever experienced this? One moment, the service provider will give his neck, and the next moment, the service provider will start taking the neck into your hand. Now, this is the biggest problem we find in customer service. Not that we don't have it, it is there. But it is not there in the same way across the institution all the time. And worst is it goes wrong at a crucial time.